chondrules are also classified into a pathologic type, and as a type 1 and a type 2. And this classification works as follows. We measure the atomic iron and magnesium content within olivine and pyroxene inside the chondrules. And then we plot the mole iron on the x-axis here. The mole iron um, means that we calculate an atomic iron divided by the sum of atomic iron and magnesium here. And then we have something like an iron number. So then on the left here, on the x-axis, you have 0% iron, which means there is a force right and answer tight. And then to the right, there is 100% iron, so there is ferrolite and ferrocellite. And then we define type 1 here from 0 to 10, which means the type 1 chondrules are extremely magnesium rich and iron poor. And all the other chondrules we classify as type 2, so from 10% iron or iron number to 100%. Now, for example, in carbonaceous chondrites, there's only a small fraction of type 2 chondrules, so most are type 1 chondrules maybe around 95 or even more percent are type 1 chondrules. This is quite different in ordinary chondrites, in which the fraction of type 2 chondrules, depending on pathologic type of the chondrite, can be quite high, higher than maybe 50 percent or something like this. In enzyme chondrites, there's, there are almost none type 2 chondrules. They are highly reduced, which means they contain almost um, um, exclusively type 1 chondrules, in which the force right and tide is almost pure. In addition to this classification of type 1 and 2, there's a, an, a subdivision into A, A, B, and B, depending on the silicon concentration. And this is here only type 1 and type 2 classification.